Hey, everybody. We're talking scales today. We're talking scales today, but a little bit differently. All right, so let me explain. So anybody that knows me, and if you are not familiar with this channel, this channel is for non-professional aspiring guitar players. This is mostly for people of all ages, but usually people of an advanced age that have always wanted to play guitar and want to teach themselves how to play. And your goal is not to know every scale and every mode and every, uh, you know, all your power chords and your triads and all that, inversions. It's not, that shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be to be able to play your favorite songs, even in the most basic way, which will require really not more than a few open chords and some decent strumming. That's it, okay? So, yeah, we don't need to read the whole book. We just want to pick out the chapters that are going to help us play our favorite songs, play some chords, make some music with our guitar as fast as possible. That's what this channel is all about, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. And today is a perfect example of that because what I'm going to show you today, I didn't start doing until the third time I picked up the guitar to teach myself. The first two times, as you probably know, I quit after just over a year each time. It was just too complicated. It was too hard. I was sounding awful. I now know why. I've told you guys why in many of the live shows that we do. And all of a sudden, it just hit me. You know, I was just doing things because I didn't know any better. And I was doing things I had no business doing. So from here on out, now I know a lot of you at this stage have probably already started to learn your minor pentatonic shape, and rightly so. This is the first one we generally we, we generally learn. It's the A minor pentatonic. It's played right here, otherwise known as 5 8, 5 7, 5 7, 5 7, 5 8, 5 8, and all that nonsense, okay? Okay, so if you've already done that, fantastic. It's only going to add to your repertoire, fantastic. But what I urge you to do from here on out, what I did, was any new scales I learned after that, I learned them in the open position. Why? Well, first of all, the notes are the same, okay? So the notes here, A, C, D, E, G, A, are also available right here. A, C, D, E, G, A. They're just an octave lower. That's it, same notes. So playing a scale is all about playing those notes in the scale. In this case, pentatonic five notes. So we only play those five notes. So we could be anywhere on the guitar and play only those notes. So for example, I could be C, D, G, A, E, right here. So I'm playing this little box and, and the I, I call it the BB box. But I'm playing from the pentatonic scale without maybe even knowing it because I played those five notes and only those five notes. I can play them here, I can play them here, I can play them here, it's the same. So my, my reasoning here is if we learn right off the bat a new scale or your minor pentatonic, A minor pentatonic or which is the same as the C major pentatonic, you got two birds and one stone, same notes, if we learn them here well, think about it. Where do we play all of our chords that we've just spent six months to a year learning? Whether it's only three chords or it's six chords or you know all your open chords. We spend all this time learning them here. Wouldn't it make sense to play our, our scale notes there too? Because then we've got things like walk ups and walk downs. That's all those are. Those are playing notes from the corresponding scale. 
to join the chords together. Okay? We could end up playing then go on a little run. Right? Mix it all in together and it will make you sound so cool. Now there's a bit of a learning curve because just like when you learnt your scale, remember you learnt this scale here? You went, and then you went like this, and then you looked at it and you went, okay, it's this one and this one. And then after a while, you kind of got a little faster. And next thing you know, you could zip up and down. But if you were like me, it kind of ended there because you didn't know what to do with them. And the reality is, if we learn our scale here, but we do all of our playing there, then doesn't it make sense that in order to use this, like you gotta get really good. Like you gotta get to the point where, okay, so A minor to the C, now I gotta slide over, play a little lick, and then go back. Like, yeah, it can be done when you get good, right? But it's a little challenging for a beginner and even those in the first year or so if you haven't concentrated on that. So if the notes are already at your fingertip, there's still a learning curve, but they're right there. So all we really have to do is if we're playing, again, little A minor C to the A minor, then all I gotta do is know that, well, look, there's my C, A, G, D, E. They're all right there. And that just takes a little bit of practice, okay? So now all of a sudden, we can turn our three or four chords into something pretty darn good by implementing the notes around them on the scale to join the chords together or just play the notes as a whole measure of music. So instead of playing C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, we might play A minor, I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities. And the notes, like the little run-ups and downs, or some people call them walk-ups and downs, the little runs, the note runs you can do, well, you're only limited to your imagination. And yes, you should play, to stay on board, you should play the notes. So if you're going to play A minor to C and you're going to use the A minor pentatonic, you should only play the five notes of that scale. But it doesn't really mean you have to. I know that sounds awful. People are going to are going to torch me for this, but all of these notes are so are so similar. So for example, let's look at the A minor C thing. Well, the notes we already know are A, C, uh, D, E, and G, right? So that, that covers your two scales, C major and A minor. Now when we go to say a G major, the notes are G, A, B, D, E. Well, the only difference is the B. The G, A, D, and E are also in the, the minor pentatonic scale of A minor and C. You see, so all the notes are the same. If we look at the G minor, we have a G, C, D, F, and a B flat. So really, you got your G, you got your D, you got your C. You can sort of slip off the tracks when you're playing in the open position, notes in the open position, because again, a lot of these scales, and they share the same notes. They share them everywhere, but I mean here it's all concentrated into these three frets. And so you, yeah, you might make a mistake and play a wrong note, but it's still gonna sound good most of the time. It just makes perfect sense. Then later on, if you already know this position, then later on, you can start doing things like, you know, sliding over to maybe. Another position that you've already learned. But again, this video isn't about that. It's about when you're starting to really get where you're going as quick as possible. Do everything right here at the beginning. Now, what will happen is you'll get to the point where you can play all, all your open chords really well. You can transition between all of them. And you may know the notes of 
one scale or two scales, uh, a major, a minor, something along those lines. And when you put them all together, I mean, you could sit here for hours and just come up with these little runs. I mean, I could sit here for hours doing that, and, and so will you, okay? And to me, that's way more important for me to be able to put those two disciplines, playing scales or techniques, playing scales and playing chords together to enhance my abilities, to enhance my capabilities, to enhance my sound and my overall guitar journey well-being. It gave me so much confidence. The first day I sat down and able to do something like that, I was like beaming, okay? I think this was the first little lick that I learned way back. It was like a little A minor thing. And if you look at songs like uh, uh, R.E.M.'s um, um, Losing my religion, that beginning, that's that's a little that's a little rick, a little riff around I believe the A minor chord. So if you sat down and played around for a little bit, I'm sure you'll replicate that riff. Okay? I don't want to trigger any kind of copyright here. And I'm really not hundred percent familiar with the riff, but I know it's around the A minor. And when I started doing things like that, like I was like, boom, my shoulders were up. I was, wow, that was a, a not only a light bulb moment, but a confidence building moment for me, right? Because I just realized, hey, like I just sounded non-beginner-ish, if that makes any sense. <laughs> and so once again, to me, that's what it's all about, right? Now, this can be applied to anything, any scale. All of the notes are everywhere on the fretboard. We've already shown and, and we've already talked about the repetition of the notes and how they work. Now, I'm gonna leave you with this about, generally about scales and why this works, is again, because a scale is five or seven notes or eight notes or whatever's in that scale. And you can play them anywhere and you can play them in any order. And as long as you just play those notes, technically you're within that key and that scale. So little things, you can do so you don't have to play them the way I just mapped them out. So for example, we, we took a look at our, uh, our C, A minor, right? Okay, so we got the C, we got, or, or we got the A, we got the C, we got the D, we got the E, we got the G, we got the A. All right, and then we could start again and go uh, A, C, D. Now, instead of going to get the E here and the G to finish it off all nice and precise, well, we could do C, D, E, right? Then we could start here. We could play A, C. Now, where are we now? We're back in the traditional first position of the A minor pentatonic. And then from there, we could probably go something like this, and we got a C and a D and an E. same notes as the A minor pentatonic that we played here. But now I'm playing them here. I've kind of weaseled my way along the fretboard by only playing those notes. And at any time, I could go here because those are two more notes, right? My G and A, G, A, C, D. There's my E and that'll get me back to this position where I'm actually playing C and D. D, there's my E, right? C, D, G, A, G, A, C, D, G, A, C, D, E, back to the D, still a note, right? And I could play it here. C, D, A, G. So I can go anywhere. Here's C, D, I'm sorry, C, D. Right? 
and if I wanted to play the A and the G, I would go up here, or I could go C, D, E, E, D, C, A, G, pentatonic. I'm crossing over from maybe a, the end of one position into another, but I'm playing the same notes. So technically, everything I just did was all within the A minor pentatonic, and you can do that with every scale. All right? So that's how you expand what we're talking about today. All right? So I'm going to leave you with this, a summary. And that is, learn your scales. So if you don't say no, the major scale, right? And you're going to go about learning it. Learn it in the open position. G, A, B, C, D, E. Learn it here. Because then you've got your this ability. You can throw it right into your guitar playing. All right, everybody, I hope this has turned a light on a little bit. Some of you, many of you probably already know that, okay? But um, many of you don't. I didn't know it for years. And when I found out, I'm like, oh, if I had have only done that from day one. All right. So once again, thank you so much. If you think that I can help you with your journey, and remember, my goal is to take away all the intimidation and all the rhetoric and most importantly strip away all the things that you really do not need to know in order to play easy, cool, classic, all your favorite songs as quick as possible. Then, as what happened with me, I didn't stop there. I kept going as I got a little better and a little better and then I was able to acquire the more advanced techniques, the bar chords, the triads and things. And it became so much easier because I'd already had this guitar foundation built up. My motor skills were built up. And most importantly, my confidence was built up, right? So again, if you think I can help, hit that subscribe button. I've got two guitar shows a week, one for beginners and one for those that have been playing a little while. Uh, we talk about all things guitar for hour, hour and a half. I'll be posting the dates. They start this Thursday, which means nothing to you if you don't watch this video for a couple of weeks, but check my channel for the uh, all the information. And remember, the most important thing of all this is just play your guitar. All right, see you later.